are at the edge of the Chilcotin region of British Columbia. All the way up here, the Sea to Sky through Whistler, Pemberton, we took the Duffy Lake Road up here to Lillooet. Down here from Risk Creek is when we detoured into the Namaya Valley. And we took this old wagon road and took us right back out of Tatla Lake, right here if we can get to it, and then finish our drive into Bellacoola. This series is brought to you by West Can Overland. Fireplace Performance. Good morning. From the edge of the Chilcotin region in British Columbia, we have already had a crazy adventure and it's only the start of day three. Thank you for tuning in to part two of this adventure series where we explore the Chilcotin Caribou Coast. In this episode, we'll be traveling to mountains formed by basalt volcano stacks, into the Valley of Wild Horses, and to Chilco Lake, where they filmed the last series of Alone. We'll be traveling over 200 kilometers on unknown dirt roads. And that gets us pretty excited. So sit back and enjoy. This is gonna be a good one. Guys, you want to check out our sweet new optimized center console? Check this out. Look, we got this foam block that I cut to fit all of the stuff because we're always fumbling around with bags and stuff. So now we got the drone ready to go. We got the camera ready to go. Controller. It's it's looking good in here, and it's so easy to just whip out the camera, take the shots, and uh, and get back in. I'm probably gonna cover it with something. I'm not sure what yet, if you have any suggestions on like a fabric to cover it with. Um, or I may put it in a box, not totally sure. Super stoked on this. We turned off the number 20 Alexander McKenzie Highway as we made our way into the Nehemiah Valley. This area of golden plateaus and dramatic mountains stretches all the way west from the Fraser River to the shores of the Pacific Ocean. This cowboy country is dotted with sporadic communities, very little industry, a pristine and varied wilderness. It has many times been called the most beautiful area in all of Canada. Our first stop of interest was Cardiff Mountain, a rare anomaly that was formed from ancient volcano activity. This mountain hosts some incredible rock features known as basalt stacks. Having been recommended to check it out, we were keen to see what it actually looked like. The road up is a steep and winding quad trail. And at this point here, I had to get out and put the Yeti in four wheel drive.
trail gets a little tight. So we're walking. These basalt pillars and hexagonal rock formations you see have a special feature called columnar jointing. This is what gives each basalt column their unmistakable hexagonal shape and makes them so neat to look at. These incredible features of Mother Nature surely left us in awe. And that wonderful feeling was only going to get amplified as we travel deeper into the Valley of Wild Horses. Oh my gosh, the horse girl inside me is dying. <laughs> so cute even though you're wild you look at your face oh my gosh <laughs> wild horses who saw wild horses <laughs> they're everywhere look how funny he looks with his long legs oh my God. If you're enjoying this content, I'd like to invite you to smash that like button and hit subscribe if you aren't already. It really helps support this channel so we can continue to make adventure videos like this one. If you're not familiar with the TV series alone, it is where they take 10 willing participants and drop them in the most remote and harshest climates on earth. In season eight of the show, 10 participants were dropped here at Joko Lake.
The road to Choco Lake is an out and back drive for most travelers. However, there is an old wagon road that travels north from Choco Lake up through other winding glacial lakes and remote ranches and comes out at Tatla Lake. However, we were unable to confirm if this road was passable. Neither of our maps, Gaia or Google Earth, could confirm that the road actually connected. Our risk was our fuel, because if we got more than halfway down the wagon road and had to turn around, we would not have enough fuel to reach the next gas station back towards Williams Lake. I think these are the decisions that really define an adventurous spirit. We are here for the journey, for the experience to enter and emerge from the unknown. It's with that intention that we started to travel north on this old wagon road. When you're this remote, it pays to be smart and just check unknown puddles. Yeah, good. This is like six inches deep. But you never know. Could have been a two foot hole. It's worth the check. God, once again, the treacherous depths were no match for the Yeti. Expedition turned into a cabin night. Yeah, we're glappy. Mm -hmm. 